well, it's looking more and more likely like we're going to see a decent amount of snow across the mountains of the area. Maybe a little bit in the lower elevations as well if things set up right. Still some uncertainty there, though. They upgrade those uh, winter storm watches to warnings for Casper Mountain as well as the Bighorn Range, Azorica, and also the east slopes of the winds. So those winter weather advisories in effect as well. The west slopes of the winds, Tetons, as well as the Salt Wyoming Range. If you want details on timing, go to our website right there, weather.gov slash REW. A lot of different start and end times on these. There will be a little bit of wind with this front coming through, not really during the day today, but especially towards sunset tonight into tomorrow. Look at this wind gust 50, 55 miles per hour across much of the Bighorn Basin. Also here across uh, Johnson County could be some wind gusts to 50 here as well. Even down to the uh, Casper and down here toward the uh, Wind River Basin could be gusts to 30, 40 miles per hour after that front comes through. And 30 miles per hour here across the uh, I-80 corridor, maybe up to 35, 40 in the Bighorn Basin. Not the Bighorn Basin, the Green River Basin, excuse me. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, give me a break. And to talk about the impacts, the Tetons, the snow will start early this morning, continue through this afternoon. They should see improving conditions as we head through Thursday. Wind rivers this afternoon, the snow will really come down in earnest. Maximum impact tonight into tomorrow morning. Bighorns will be okay through the day today, starting tonight. Maximum impact on Thursday. Now, Casper Mountain, today and most of tonight, should stay mainly rain before the cold air comes in there, changes it to snow towards sunrise on Thursday. They continue pretty much all the way through the night before it tapers off toward Friday morning. Now, lower elevation areas, it looks like mainly rain, but it's going to be closed for a lot of areas, though. So if we get a few degrees colder than we think, it could be a few inches of snow, mainly on the grass, maybe a little bit on the pavement. And the most likely spot to see that, Cody, Lander as well, especially Casper, because the moisture might linger there a little bit longer, allow that cold air to get a little bit deeper in that area. Now, the probabilistic stuff I want to show you, this is a chance basically of seeing just a trace of snow, maybe a small coating on the ground, some flakes flying through the air. Riverton, not that great a chance. You can see Lander, about a 2 and 3 chance. That's decent. This will be mainly on Thursday night, about a 2 and 3 chance from Casper as well as Buffalo. About a 4 in 10 chance around the Cody area, and a pretty good chance of seeing that in the Western Valleys as well. I-80, looking at about a 1 in 2 chance, or about a 50% chance on average. Bumped us up to 2 inches of snow, maybe a little bit more, obviously. About a 30% chance around Lander. Again, this is very elevation dependent here, though. So those of you towards Sinks Canyon, the higher elevations there, probably seeing more than those of you downtown. Same story around Casper, you get down south of town to the higher elevations, especially once you get past Wyoming Boulevard, better chance of seeing that than downtown. And Buffalo, same thing, west of town, better chance of seeing that than east of town. Many of the other areas, chances really drop off. A little bit better chance around Wamsutter, though. There will be some higher elevations in here, so it could actually enhance the snowfall a little bit. And about a 1 in 4 chance across the western valleys. Now, you bump this up to 6 inches or more, chances really drop off across the lower elevations, but just about a slam dunk here across the Big Horns portions of the uh, Wind River, especially the higher elevations, as well as the Azorcas. That's more probabilistic stuff I want to show you. As they expect this much snow across the area, basically 90% chance of seeing this. I see at least a foot across portions of the uh, Big Horns. That's going to be the hardest hit area, at least six to eight inches across the higher elevations of uh, Casper Mountain up around the Hoganon ski area, at least six inches across the mountains here. And the lower elevations, if things stay warmer, might not get anything, it'll just be rain. But Things get a little bit colder, like the maximum amount of snow we'll see here. Yeah, parts of Casper could pick up four or five inches again. Higher elevation south of town, better chance of seeing this in downtown. Same thing around Lander, better chance towards Sinks Canyon than down toward downtown. And west of Buffalo could pick up four or five inches if things get a little bit colder than we think they will. And even the coating around places like Shoshone, maybe uh, Riverton as well, they could pick up a couple inches, about two around Lander. And maybe one to three inches across the uh, I-80 corridor and two to four inches possible if things set up right across the western valleys. Now our official snowfall forecast it does tend a little bit more toward the uh, warmer side, so take a look at this. We're not really calling for much of anything across the um, lower elevations, the Bighorn Basin, as well as the Wind River Basin. Maybe a slushy coating around the Casper area, the Waltman area, a little bit higher elevation in here, and less than an inch here, but area to focus is the uh, higher elevation. So if you're doing a lot of hunting this time of year, it's not going to be very pleasant there, especially the higher elevations of the Bighorns. Wind River Range, as well as the Azorcas, especially when you get above about 8 or 9,000 feet. That's where the highest amounts of snow are going to be. And some resources here, you want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash R-A-W. Road conditions, I want to start emphasizing this again, don't call us for road conditions. Go to Y-Dot, you'll get it right from the source here. Why wrote that info if you're on the uh, web, great resource. You want to call them on the phone, 511 if you're in state, 188 Road if you're out of state. Now, if you want to take a look at the webcams around the area, we have stuff from all over the state of Wyoming. Just go to our weather, our webpage, click on local programs, go to our webcam cams page. That's stuff from all over the area. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.